hey what's up guys it's lesson 1.3 and today i just uh want to continue on from the previous lesson so just to uh do a quick mention i'm going to change my model uh from the previous ones that i uh have used because um, i'm currently working on an exterior scene so i'll be using this model instead and um I will basically use this um, small office uh, to show you how to do an interior scene in Unreal. So um, to get started, let's continue from where we left off. So I have uh, I've already run my steamroller script. So each of the meshes already have an unwrapped UVW. And um, I think uh, it's looking good so we are okay ready to go so I'm gonna show you two ways to export this uh, static mesh um, first of all I'm going to use TS tools and I'm not going to use TS tools so there are two ways um, I'm gonna show you the one without using TS tools first okay so I'm going to export this uh, highlight everything and export it somewhere so I'm just going to put a static mesh mm. garden office okay make sure again that this is centimeters Ooh. And once that is done, okay, let's create a new Unreal project. Okay, so in your Unreal Engine, let's just click on Launch. I'll be using 4.11 uh, in this tutorial because uh, a lot of my work are in 4.11, so I don't really want to, um, how to say change something that is uh, or rather I haven't tested out 4.12 so I'm not really sure if there might be anything that you know I need to rework or might, there might be some bugs so I'll stick with 4.11 so we'll create a new project for Arch Vs usually I'll use a first person okay um, and then you choose your project location personally I like to put it here I'll name it lesson on uh, lesson one point three lesson one underscore three uh, maximum quality and no starter content because um, there's quite a lot of things uh, in the starter content so um, if you're packaging something you're using your own materials you wouldn't want to start with any starter content um, so you can you can create another project with started content to explore and then you can migrate it to your uh, current archivist project if you really need the contents anyway so um, i rather not have started contents for my uh, projects okay so let's create the project okay so when we first start out we'll have a we'll have a screen that is like that so I don't really want to use this so I'll use a new level okay empty level um, so first of all let's import the meshes okay I'm gonna call it uh, garden office Okay, and I import the file. Okay, so a few settings that we need to take notes. First of all, I don't want collision. Okay, um, I rather use my own um, bounding volumes, which I will show you later. But I I don't want every mesh to have collision. It will make uh, my player very hard to move around later. So just um, don't choose collision. 
Uh, I don't want to generate light maps because I've already generated using the steam roller. Uh, import materials, import texture. Okay. And I don't want to combine the mesh. Alright. That is for uh, if you don't use TS tools. Okay. So I'll import each mesh individually. Okay. DJ, when you have this... Um, error message is usually it has to do with your uh, light maps okay so let's not worry about it for the time being so what you are going to do now without TS tools is you can select everything and drag it out into the scene okay so when I press F what happened is ta -da! so you have the entire models uh, being imported directly the problem with this method is that if you want to move individual um, meshes, then it will be very hard to to rotate or to manipulate because the origin is not uh, is not where it's supposed to be, you know. So uh, that's what I don't like about um, this method. So if let's say you have a furniture, you import a furniture and use this method then it's not going to work uh, it's very hard to manipulate like for example if i take this mesh and i want to rotate i can't rotate it about its origin i'll have to rotate it in this point so it makes it very difficult to move around so uh of course uh, yeah so i don't really like this method so the ts tools um is slightly better in in that sense but it has its uh weakness as well so depending on what you like or your preference you can use either one of uh these two methods so i'm going to delete all this mesh okay and uh i'm going to import it using ts tools instead okay so um take note this is a very important step for ts tools you need to create an export folder okay uh don't ask me why you just have to do it it's, it has to do with the script that you change in lesson 1.1 1 .1. um so let's just create this export folder let's go back to the static mesh and now i'm going to use ts tools to export okay and uh, i'm going to put it here export selected okay and then i'm going to import it I put it under lesson 3 okay same I don't want collision I don't want UVs uh, I can combine mesh but it doesn't really matter because we are importing individual maps uh, meshes anyways okay so I'll just import all same error message now how do I if I move it like that my mesh will be in a mess right so how do i have the specific locations using ts tools so i have to do is i click this copy selected object and then over here i right click edit paste okay and um just want to highlight this area i don't know why it behaves like this but make sure that everything is uh zero for our rotation and scale is one okay once you do that you have the same um effect okay so this is another way to import using ts tools okay so right now we have imported our mesh um I'm just going to add a quick sky, uh, a quick light. So I'm going to have a bit of sky light, a bit of directional light. Okay, and um, let's see if I can find it uh, under view options. I want to get a what's that thing called a uh, a sky box. Okay, I think they should have already have one. show engine content yeah that's the one so it should be under editor meshes editor sky sphere we drag it out 
Okay, so uh, there is no sky. Okay, so that's not looking very good. We don't have a HDRI. Nothing. Okay, so um, we'll just do a a quick test. Okay, to see if we have imported everything nicely. So first of all, I just want I added a directional light and a skylight. I'll explain uh, a bit more about this later. But um, we just add the directional, add the skylight, and you can see that it is pitch dark in the room. Uh, we so what we can do is we click on the skylight. Under source type, we can choose a specified cube map. Just choose w any one of these first. Uh, I'll choose the desert outer HDR to get a bit of uh, light into the room. Um, we are not doing any lighting yet. We just want to see if everything is imported correctly. So once this is done, I just want to uh, highlight everything. Okay. Uh, if you already have materials, then let it be. But right now, there's no materials. I'm just going to choose a simple material uh, is there a base I just want a whitish uh, material base color this oh that does not look good okay it's okay we'll just create a let's create a material so new folder materials I'll just create a quick material Uh, material white well okay nothing fancy just uh, a white color material okay yep okay so we have assigned the white wall material to all our static mesh okay as you can see the there's a part of a black area there so it's okay we'll deal with that later so one one quick way to see if we have imported everything done everything nicely is um, we can run a light build to see if uh, everything is good Okay, what do I mean by that? Okay, first of all, we would like to add a uh, light mass importance volume. So, this volume is important because Unreal uses um, light mass for global illumination. So, this volume will tell Unreal where is the area that is important for Unreal to focus on. Okay, uh, so if, if not, it will just... Uh, build the lighting or what we call bake the lighting for the entire scene if you have a huge landscape with uh i don't know 15 kilometers by 15 kilometers then it's going to take a very long time to build so the light mass importance volume tells unreal this is where you should focus your your baking in okay so i'm just gonna make it slightly bigger 1000 by 1000 by 1000 Okay, so what I can do is I can do a quick, make sure lighting quality is set to preview and do a quick build. Okay. Okay, so I have built my light. And as you can see, this is how it will roughly look like when you do an interior scene. And over here, you can see this a uh, black patch here, even though I have assigned a white wall material. So, um, looking at other areas, uh, we are not too concerned about exterior now. So, but as you can see, usually when you build your walls and there is a black patch or or you know the lighting doesn't look right, usually it's because of light maps. So, what you can do is you can double click on this static mesh over here and click on this UV and okay you see there's no channel one so let me show you a proper one that is being built okay so I'll tick, click 
click on this like uh, mesh UV okay there's a channel one and this is the the UV maps that stores the light maps so for this particular static mesh there's no channel one which is why when unreal builds the light it doesn't know what to do you know because there's no light maps so this is very important okay in the next lesson I'll show you how we can adjust this and uh, how we can build lights and other materials. So that's all for this lesson. Thank you.